All right, thanks. You know, this mild weather has actually been a pain for those who really do embrace the snow, but for everyone who likes summer sports, bring it on. Our Paul Bloom is live for us tonight. And Paul, you found some guys golfing today, right? And Tim, this really felt like a race against the clock with all that snow heading this way. I did find some avid golfers who said today really felt like a Christmas present. The only signs of Christmas at Shadowbrook Golf Course was the music blasting from the clubhouse speakers. You've never seen a more excited group of golfers than when they can golf around Christmas time. Tom Schmidt owns the 18-hole course in Leicester Prairie. That's about 50 miles west of the metro. That's pretty crazy. When Schmidt heard a group of golfers was looking for a place to play this week, he looked out at the snowless green fairways and said, why not? It's cheaper than going to uh, Florida or Myrtle Beach. It's fun. Yeah, just hit a 300-yard drive because it, uh, it frozen fairways. Got, got me about an extra 50 yards off the tee. Kevin Unterreiner runs a Twin Cities golf website that spread the word about the Christmas time anomaly in Minnesota, a golf course actually open for business. Why not? It, you want it once in a lifetime chance, and so it's the day after Christmas. We're uh, heading to Phoenix tomorrow, so it's a warm-up round. In total, some three dozen duffers came out to play on Friday bundled up to beat the predicted snowfall this weekend. Extra layers, protective plastic sheeting, and a special propane heater is all that was needed for this day after Christmas gift from Minnesota's golf gods. Would you rather be snowmobiling right now or ice fishing, or is this, is this the best way to sweat? No, my, you know, if we don't have snow, why, why not golf? I mean, if, if there's snow on the ground, let's go do that stuff. So. Absolutely. Well, speaking of winter, this is what the outdoor ice rig